Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I wanted to share with you a YSL unboxing from Farfetch. The bag is now here and I am so excited to see this beautiful bag. All right guys, so this is how it came packaged. And this box up here is where my shipping address is. It looks literally just like a shoe box. And it has a few F stickers all over it for Farfetch. And I already opened like the little tab and it literally opens just like a shoe box pretty much. And it looks just like this. I'm so excited. So the first thing I see is the receipt in here. So let me go ahead and open this. Hi guys, I'm so excited to see it. It comes in this beautiful box, just like so. Okay, I'm pretty sure. But why isn't it not in a dust bag? I'm like still trying to figure that out. So I literally just took off the lid and it's kind of just shoved in here. That's not cool. I've gotten dust bags with cheaper bags and I, that's weird. Okay, so there's nothing in there, like no dust bag or anything. And then just this wrapper on top of this. So, let me take a moment, and not a good moment. So this bag is leather and suede, and I don't know if it's just me, but it looks very, very, very used. Oh my goodness. I like can't even believe it. All these little white marks. I'm going to get close up to the camera and see if you can see this. Let me scope the rest of it before I have a heart attack. Oh my God. You're kidding me. Oh my gosh. I'm so upset. Okay guys, sorry for like the silence. I am just scoping out this bag and the more I see it, the more I realize it is definitely a displayed bag. This is definitely a true unboxing. I cannot believe this. Oh my gosh, you guys literally put on your seat belts because you are about to have a heart attack along with me. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. So this bag is definitely a displayed bag. I mean, it didn't even come stuffed. It didn't come with a dust bag. I'm going to get close so I can show you. I, I can't even keep this bag. I am so, so, so disappointed. Let me get closer so I can show you guys what I'm looking okay, at. Okay, guys. So I am closer up to the camera. I really hope you guys can see what I'm seeing. I know I am filming at night and it's not very, you know, natural lighty in here like it usually is, but it has like two really good scratches right here. I don't know if you can see that, but I definitely can. I mean, it's super noticeable in person. I really wish my camera would pick that up. If you look really closely at like the edges of the suede, it is definitely, it, it looks like it's rubbed on something. Like it definitely was definitely used and I can't even, I, I can't even deal right now. I'm, I'm really upset. This bag was really expensive. This is probably like, probably my most expensive bag, one of my most expensive bags or probably the most expensive bag I have ever purchased. 
And I was so excited to see it. Look at this. Look at this. Like, look at that. That is ridiculous. That is so uncalled for. Like, I can't even deal. Look at it. It's right there, too. Just like if nothing. Let me show you how. I mean, it's a beautiful bag if it was in brand new condition. I mean, I did not buy, I did not buy this pre-owned from a pre-owned website. Farfetch is brand new with tags kind of thing. And this is not what I received. And I'm really, really, really disappointed. Look up here. More jean. Look at this. Look at this. Like it's ridiculous. I, I can't even, I can't even deal. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Like I, I just want to like literally scream. I cannot believe this is, look at that. I hope you guys can see this. Like, let me focus this. I really want you guys to look at this. Oh my goodness. Look, I might end the brightness a little bit so you can see. Look at that. Look at this. You can definitely see where jeans were rubbed on this. Okay, guys. So honestly, I'm starting to think that this bag wasn't even a display. I honestly think that this was a used bag. And what totally stinks is that sucks. It doesn't even stink. Like, I'm so upset right now. I really think that this bag was used. It did come from the boutique in New York. The fact that they packaged this up and sent this to me like this is just like unbelievable. Like, I don't know if this has happened before. Like, I'm, I'm getting really worked up. But I, do, I cannot believe that they would send me something like this. Like, I know that if I worked for YSL or if I worked for anybody, I could work for Michael Kors, for Coach. I could work at Walmart. But it, or, you know, somewhere that is going to package your things and ship them to you. If I was to just, just glance at it for a second, you can definitely see the suede. It's just like all on the edges. It's not really in the middle. It's literally on the edges where it has rubbed up against something. And it just literally breaks my heart. Like it's, it's a used bag. Clearly it's, I mean, there's no other way around it. I haven't even opened this bag and I honestly don't even want to. I'm so upset. Like it does come with the Farfetch tag on it. So I will definitely be, there we go. I will definitely be leaving that on because tomorrow I am shipping this right back out. I wish I could call Farfetch right now, but it's really late. I doubt they're open. Guys, I'm trying not to have a heart attack in front of you. Like, I am so upset right now. I can't even believe this. So, the interior on this leather right here has scratches. I cannot. Let me get close and show you guys. Look at those. I know you can see that because I can see it. Look at those scratches. Do you see these dark scratches? Oh my gosh, I'm really not trying to be bashful or anything like that, but that is just like breaking my heart. I can't even believe that they packaged this. Look at that. There's another one where over here, yep, over here, over here, over here. There are scratches everywhere. They're supposed to be a little sticky here where this hardware is very scratched. It's supposed to be like this sticky down here. This blue little thing to protect the hardware. You can definitely tell just by looking at this that it was used right here. It's very, very, very messed up. Look at that. Look at the edges. Look at that. Where it was rubbing onto something, someone. For someone, I mean, this has to be used. I mean, there's no way. Even a display bag would look like this. I think they wouldn't even let the display bag look like this. I just... I am very, very, very shook right now. Oh, so let's look deeper inside of it. This is definitely going back. There's no, oh my God. There's like crumbs inside of it. I hope you guys can see that. You see that back in the corner over here? Literally like over here. 
There's literally like stuff inside of it where people used it. That is crazy to me. Like, look at what I just noticed. Please tell me if you see what I noticed. Oh my God. Look at this side right here. Oh, sorry, I'm shaking the camera. I think I'm like shaking myself. I can't believe they sent me this. Okay, so look at this side, how it's stitched right there. Hold on, let me try to zoom in a little bit right here. See how it's stitched and shut? Look at this side. Oh my God, I just can't. I literally just can't. Look at this. Are you guys seeing this? Are you guys seriously seeing this? Like the stitching is undone. Look at that. Look at this side. It's totally put together and this side is completely opened. Oh my gosh. I just can't. I literally can't. Look at that. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I am just, I wanted to love this bag so much. I mean, I, I'm i so, so, so sad. So anyways, if you guys are wanting to know what this bag looks like inside, I'm showing you just so you can see it. Oh my gosh, so it has this really nice zipper here and it goes down pretty deep. And I, then you just, it says St. Laurent, Paris, right there. St. Laurent, Paris, right there. Made in Italy. I believe the date code is inside of it. Yes, I studied this bag very much so before I bought it. Oh, okay. So, oh, it's like this. Made in Italy. So it looks like that. If you guys want to. See what it looks like. Looks just like that, and it's inside of the pocket. Oh my gosh, I'm so bummed out, guys. So bummed out. I was so excited to get this bag. <sighs> so, on this side of the bag, it has three card slots, which is really nice in leather, like that. And then it has this really nice pocket right here. And that's all it has, but it has perfect amount of room in it. I think it's a great, I believe that this is the medium size. And honestly, even the, I mean, now I'm gonna nitpick at everything, but you guys already saw, like this video really speaks for itself. Like there's no other way around it. This chain looks like it's even dull. Like, I mean, I know, some of the chains like vary. Like my mom and I have like the, the envelope bag. And I mean, that one is like a shinier gold and it's really pretty, but this one it's like, you can see it's like a bronzy color, which it's still beautiful, but it's not very out there. All right guys, I'm trying not to be super sad in this video. I can just return it because I'm just so shook at how it looks like it's supposed to go in. I notice now I see it. It is supposed to go in. That's why it's stitched in like that. So it'll go in and look, you can definitely just see by looking at it that it comes out a lot because that stitching is undone. Like who would send that? I just like, look at that. Like who in their right mind packaged this up? Look at that. Who in their right mind packaged this up and said, hmm, she's gonna love her bag, her used bag. Look at that. It comes out so much. This one goes in. Oh, I'm sure you guys don't wanna hear me. <sighs> Complain in a nice, Nice words, let's use the nice words. But I mean, seriously, not even joking. Let me tell you how much this bag costs. This bag, um, they had like a coupon for $50 off. So that's why, well, not why, but it's 
definitely a plus when you can save money. So that's one of the reasons why I went ahead and bought it when I did. Um, it retailed for $2,750, okay? And I bought it for $2,700. $2,700, no dust bag. It's clearly used. I mean, literally denim marks on the back, you know? It's just clearly used, pretty much torn, beat up. Like, it's like somebody literally, like, QVC'd it. Like, they literally used it for, like, three, four months or whatever, like QVC does, and returned it and got their money back. I'm, I mean, oh, it's so beautiful from far away. It is so beautiful. I love the size. I love the room. I love the chain. I love that it has these. Let's, let's talk about the, the pros, okay? So this is what the strap looks like. It doesn't say Saint Laurent on it, but it looks just like that. It's beautiful. The only thing that is not scratched. See, the straps are stunning. They're really, 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 really pretty. And I like that. I like that it kind of like indents a little bit right there. I love that because it makes it comfortable to wear. So try not to look at the imperfections and try to look at the beauty of this bag and why I purchased it. It definitely is so beautiful. It has um, leather here and then obviously the suede here. The only thing that just by looking at it before I purchased it, well, I think after I purchased it, I realized this, but I knew that it was, you know, like this blocky. I call it the puzzle bag, even though it's not called the puzzle bag. Um, um, anyways, it has leather here, suede here. And what I thought to myself is I am always wearing jeans. Even whenever I go out, I will literally put on like some CL shoes and some jeans and a really pretty top and like bomb jewelry and like a pop of color with my bag. That's how I dress. So I knew I was going to wear this with, I mean, I don't wear summer dresses or anything like that. Like I wear jeans. Um, so I knew that if this had suede in the back, this was possible, was to get denim all over the suede. I mean, guys, I knew it was possible to get denim on your suede, but I didn't think it was literally going to come like that. If I could remake this bag, I would have definitely just done all leather in the back and just done the beautiful suede and leather in the front. I think that's beautiful. I absolutely love it. That's one of the reasons why I absolutely just am obsessed with this bag. As soon as I saw it in pink, I was like, I have to have it. It's beautiful. But the suede in the back obviously is going to transfer. I don't even think just on jeans, like I think on anything, like on dark pants, you know, dressy pants or anything like that, unless you wear it with white pants, like all year round, I mean, it'll definitely get transfer on it. The side looks beautiful, how it's like color blocked, I guess, like so. so and it's very like, it's not structured really because of the type of leather but it's real like slouchy, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind that at all because you're obviously going to be carrying it like this. So even though sadly I am not going to be able to keep this bag, there is just no shape or form that I could keep this bag. And you know what totally stinks is that this is the second time I purchased from Farfetch and the first time I will link that video down below. It was a Versace PVC bag and I ended up keeping it when I got it it was scratched all over the bottom I mean it was scratched and obviously it's still scratched and um, I got it on sale and it was such a good deal that I kind of just said you know what it was an accident it wasn't Farfetch's fault they didn't issue me like a credit or anything like that when I called they were like if you want to return it return it and I didn't so that's my fault. I ended up keeping it, so I can't really nag about that. But the second purchase from Farfetch, and it comes like this, like it gets worse and worse. 
Um, I obviously haven't called customer service yet. I'm going to call customer service tomorrow in the morning because this is just un unacceptable. Like even if you paid almost three grand for the bag or if you paid one grand or even if you paid $500, you are buying a luxury item and it needs to come nice. Like it needs to come in brand new condition how you're buying it, especially when you're not buying it. I mean, if I would have bought it pre-loved, then I can't say anything, you know, because it was pre-owned, pre-loved, pre-used. This bag, I bought it full price and it was on a website that, I mean, they sell brand new things. It, it wasn't a pre-loved website. So there's no excuse why I got this beautiful bag in such used condition. Now, if I would have got it half price and it would have came like this, I don't know. That's a different topic. But the way it came, it's just completely unacceptable. There's no way that I can just be like, oh, well. I'll just go ahead and keep it. You guys know what I mean? It is a really, 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 really stunning bag. It is just as beautiful as in the pictures. I am absolutely in love with it. It's gorgeous. I um, have seen it in black where it's just all leather and it is blocked like this, but it's all black leather with gold hardware. And oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. And the silver hardware is just as beautiful. But whenever I saw it in pink, I felt like I definitely wanted to get it in pink. So now I definitely want to show you guys how you can wear this bag. You can wear it two different ways. So this is how you can wear it, obviously, on your shoulder. And you just kind of adjust the straps with the beautiful chain. I'll do a little close-up again just in case you guys are in the market and want to see what this looks like up close in this beautiful color. I don't regret the color choice at all. If it was in complete perfect condition like it should be, I would definitely be keeping her. But unfortunately, that is just far-fetched. I just have not have had any good luck with them at all. I honestly don't know if I will ever shop with them again. I mean... Fool me once, shame on me, I guess, but fool me twice, that's a little ridiculous. If you ask me, and again, I just want to show you guys the interior, just in case you guys are in the market for this beautiful bag. And then it looks just like that inside. And honestly, so much fits inside. I'm gonna put my phone case in there so you can kind of see. I don't have an iPhone, but it's um, a Galaxy phone or a Samsung. And it fits in there great with plenty more room. So honestly, it's the most perfect size. Honestly, for me, I think that this is just the perfect size. Now I want to show you guys what it looks like for reference. I am five, five and a half, five, six. And when you wear it on your shoulder, it looks just like that. I really like where it lays. It's perfect. It's almost perfect, really. It's beautiful. I absolutely love it. All right, guys, so the next way you can wear it is crossbody, which is definitely the way I saw it whenever I saw it on um i think pinterest or something i saw it styled crossbody and i was just like you guys know like all my bags i want to crossbody them so i feel like it lays just perfectly literally on my hip and it is just stunning i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here <sighs> i'm so bummed out i can't even explain what it feels like to open a bag and it be, I mean, torn, it be completely, you know, stained with jean marks all over it. Like you can just, it's just ridiculous. Um, I honestly don't think I will ever purchase from Farfetch again. Uh, I can't ever say never because Sometimes I find some really good deals on there that I'm, I just want to snag it. And I'm like, look, I'm not going to find that anywhere else for that price. I'm going to go ahead and snag it. 
So I can't say I'm never, ever, ever, ever going to order from them again. I am definitely going to call customer service. I will update the description box below with the results of what happens. I'm definitely going to return it. Like, there's no ands, ifs, buts about it. It's definitely going back, sadly. Like I say, like, far away it looks beautiful. I did look more into it, and I did get, like, the... Uh, vintage chain so before anybody tries to correct me and say that I when I said it looked dull it, it just definitely looks dull but it's the actual it's like that bronze color it's not supposed to be that um, super gold shiny color um, but I mean everything else is beautiful if it was in beautiful pristine brand new condition um, I would totally be obsessed with it um, but it is definitely going back. I am very sad about it, but there is no way in heck that I can keep this. Guys, even though this bag turned out to be a total, total disappointment for me, I really hope if you are in the market for this bag that you got a better look at it. And especially if you like it in this color, I mean, it's beautiful. I absolutely love it. I don't know if I will ever purchase it again, just for the fact that I saw for myself what jeans will do to this bag because of the suede down here. And I definitely, even if I was to do this to my bag, I would be like, oh, because it's so expensive. Um, so I don't know. I think if I ever get this bag again, I will probably get the all leather version in black. And I mean, it's just as beautiful. I think it'll definitely, it's definitely that smooth leather. I have seen it in person and it'll definitely get scratched too. So I don't know. I honestly don't know. Um, I'm just like, I don't even know what to say. I'm speechless. I really don't want to have to send this back, but I don't have a choice obviously. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like this video if you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below if you guys have had some good experiences with Farfetch. I don't want to make this like a negative video. I don't want to blame this on Farfetch at all because Farfetch is a website that you go to to purchase brand new things, you know, and you don't, you don't buy it directly from Farfetch. You buy it from Farfetch, but a different boutique or whoever has the bag that is on there um, is who sends you the bag. So Farfetch didn't send me the bag. The boutique sent me the bag. So I really can't say that I'm super mad at Farfetch, even though this is the second time that this happened. I will definitely link that video down below on that Versace bag that it happened with. Another thing I want to add is that, I mean, it didn't come with a dust bag. It just came kind of through it, thrown in a box and it didn't come stuffed. Like, I stuff my bags whenever I have them on display. I get bags and they're stuffed, you know. So, I mean, it just came and it's literally like a squishy because of this kind of leather. It's like squishy. It's not structured or anything like that. So, for it to just literally, like, you open it and it's just like, you know, like a little pancake. Like, it's just squished in there. It was just really weird. Like, it took the fun experience of opening a really nice bag, like it took it away because I mean, it wasn't even stuffed, it wasn't packaged well. And then obviously overall, the condition of the bag was a just complete disappointment. But anyways, I'm gonna stop nagging and you know, you guys get it. You guys would totally feel the same. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will definitely see you in my next one. Bye guys.